This election was a major milestone in the fight for marriage equality, with four states voting on the freedom to marry. We'll take a look at the game-changing results and what they mean for the next steps towards equality for gay and lesbian Americans. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to a special post-election episode of Marriage News Watch. Here's the final tally. We won in Maine, we won in Minnesota, we won in Maryland, and we won in Washington. This is an amazing victory. It's the best possible outcome we could possibly have hoped for. Until now, our opponents have kept pointing out that they've won every popular vote on marriage. But not anymore. With 16 national surveys showing a majority of Americans support the freedom to marry, their winning streak is at an end. So what's next? There's still lots of work to do. The next major news will come out of the U.S. Supreme Court. They're meeting on December 20th to decide whether to take multiple challenges to the Defense of Marriage Act and to Prop 8. That news will be just as big, if not bigger, than the election. Depending on how the court rules, we could be looking at marriage resuming in California in less than a month. That's right, in less than a month, Prop 8 could be gone for good, and the freedom to marry could be restored for the first time since that brief window in the summer of 2008. You can be the first to know when that news comes. Visit AFER.org and subscribe here on YouTube for breaking news alerts. We're going to see some major developments in the fight for marriage over the next few weeks and months. This election is just the beginning. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching.